Hello and welcome to the Damp Show with me, Damp Sam. This week, what we're going to be looking at is an unboxing. And it's an unboxing of a Fleur One thermal imaging camera for iOS that can go onto a, onto a phone. So you might know me from Damp Sam's reaction videos that I've been doing recently. Uh, and that's not all what I do. So as well as doing reaction videos where I'm a bit sweary, leery and uh, all them other things, I also do um, some unboxing and in them videos we do a lot of content uh, and you get some value because I, I learn your stuff. So I'm Damp Sam from All Dry Damp Proofing, Damp Timber Surveys, SA Stays, what else? All Dry Properties, um, All Limited. So um, I've done a lot of stuff, plus plastering and, and all that all that kind of thing. I've been in building one form or another for 40 years, or thereabouts. And uh, I'm passing on my experience to all you in uh, YouTube land, or social media land, or social media city, whatever you want. Uh, it's going to be interesting this because I'm going to compare this Fleur 1 with the first Fleur 1 that I got and I think that is the first generation one and I've had it quite a few years. The um, reason why I bought this is because uh, in the news there's been a lot, a lot of uh, controversy of uh, black mould and condensation, ventilation, insulation in properties and moving forward in the next 10, 20 years um, there's going to be more surveys needed. So I do damp and condensation surveys so if anybody wants to get in touch it's dampsam at alldrydampproofing.com and I tend to do surveys on properties that um, people are at the, wit at the wits end with and they need these problems solving. So uh, I decided to invest in myself again, spend a bit more money and bought this Fleur One. And like I was saying before, the reason why I bought this Fleur One is I was watching a webinar on the PCA website with uh, Neil Marsden and he mentioned that he'd got the Fleur, um, I think it's a, like a gun. So he's got the Fleur thermal energy imaging camera gun type thing. And uh, he said he, he paid uh, over a thousand pounds for it, and his colleague had bought the Fleur One latest edition, so Fleur One Pro latest edition. And it got me thinking because I was never real, really impressed with the uh, graphics on the one that I bought, and I got it bought as a present. So uh, my other half, Moist Mel. She uh, always buys me stuff for my birthday, Christmas. I always ask for stuff to do with work. So it's either drills, wood trousers, um, thermal imaging cameras, uh, probes, you know, that, that kind of thing. So uh, she bought me that years and years ago and it did its job. It found cold spots um, and I weren't impressed with graphics actually on, on the camera and I don't know whether that were a thing to do with iOS, Apple and Fleur but what I, re reports that I got regarding this new one and images that I've seen, they're a lot sharper, a lot clearer, a lot more colourful, you can, you can um, distinguish between different items, furniture, stuff like that. This stands out a lot better. What I'll do is I'll put a couple of, if I, if I can get this edited right, I'll put a couple of pictures, one from old Fleur, one from new Fleur, and we'll, uh, you'll be able to see the difference. And it's got a lot, and they've updated it a lot more. So, um, the working, I think the working alongside Apple. So I went onto Amazon, Web, uh, onto my Amazon account, onto Amazon website, and the uh, Fleur have got their own shop 
on Amazon that you can that you click through onto their shop. So I'll put a link to this um, device, this one that I've got. I'll put a link to this in comments so that you can click through and uh, and have a look at it and buy one if you want. But um, so I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to unbox it. I've already did a sneak preview, so uh, but I'm just going to show you what it's like when you get it when you get it out and what everything's for. And I'm going to tell you about features that it's got that the other one didn't have, and I'll, and I'll kind of show you. So let's get into it. Eh? Enough of me waffling again. So I'll just position this. I think that's about right. A quick little peek. Yeah, so we've got that. So obviously you've got, it comes with this uh, Apple packaging standard, a bit of filler, no killer. And then this, uh, this is what we've got. I'll stick this out here. So first thing that struck me, and I'm gonna compare it with the other box. So this is original Fleur box that I got from years back when Mel bought me it, my smell. Um, and this is what you get now. And when I were talking about the, the door, it looks like they've been in partnership with Apple because they, they, they do mention Apple in the uh, in the instructions. It feels like any Apple product that you get. So packaging is quite similar, although it's not white. So you just imagine that being white, weight's been packed and everything, just screams Apple at me. I know that's had some ammo, but look at difference. You can just tell the difference. So this were like, a, a, even pulling that apart, when I first got it, I thought, this, it doesn't slide, you know what I mean? It, it, no. So, uh, so straight away, just feel at packaging, just feels just like Apple stuff. Um, so let's get, well, just have a look on, on stuff, what's on it. Picture it. New Fleur on a, an, an Apple phone. Uh, it tells you here that it's got an adjustable connector. And I weren't really sure what it was until I started having a mess with it because I can remember reading about this before I bought it and it said that it fits with uh, an Apple phone without having to take cover off. So that will one of the drawbacks with this one. That if you had that on your phone, your cover, that won't fit on. And I'll show you that a bit later on. So, uh, that's that. Tells you what you get in your box. Your Fleur device. Charger. And a, like a little um, wallet thing to keep them in. And then I noticed this where it said lightning. So that means it's a fast charger as well. See the heat, solve the problem. That's their, uh, that's their strap line. And then you've got your Fleur One Pro English. Spot problems faster, work smarter with crisp thermal imagery and powerful measurement and reporting tools on board. So I've, I've kind of not looked into all that. And I, to, to be honest, I didn't with that. I just wanted it for, for pictures to go into a report. So this is kind of stuff that you're going to get. Um, and I, like I said, I have seen some pictures already and from somewhere else's camera and they are like that, they're as clear as that. So, impressed straight away. Uh, oh, on here. So it says MSX, tool camera technology for superior images. I think that is why what, what might differ from that. Um, vivid ear advanced imaging processing one fit adjustable connector drop tested rated for up to 1.8 meters and if you look here download on the Apple uh, on the Apple App Store so uh, Fleur.com so, so there's some Apple thing going off here you can just tell with writing, and then you've just got your um, QR codes and stuff like that. One thing I have noticed about this is, so you've got this on top, 
I suppose you have to you have to unrip that and anything. But then when I looked at bottom, it seemed to open easier from this way rather than having to open that. So I, I kept that here and just opened that. And again, it just slides straight out. So it just fits and slides in and out with, with ease. So you can just tell that it's been, it's been made for quality. And like I said, I've already had a, a mess. So that there or across the OS. I just moved it over, keep it on there like that. And then we've got this lovely matte black smooth box, just like you would with any Apple product. But obviously Apple's in white. Little tag here for a drawstring. It's even got like a little magnet on that. Totally different to this this here. No else on here. Just. Nice branding, they've rebranded, if you look at that, so Fleur 1, a bit better branding, let's get into it, oh, it's that way, so when you open it, straight away see the heat, so if, you've ever, if you ever open any Apple stuff, they've got their logo on there. And then you've got this little pack here. Everything fits in, everything's in proportion, everything's level. And then this has got a few notices. You've got a, a thank you for buying. Just just same as any Apple product. And then one of the things here where it says get getting started, Flow One series. Like I said, I've already had a little look, and there's a QR code here, and I thought this were for in instructions and manual. So, I so I put my camera on there, and then clicked on where it said Fleur, and it's not, it's not the manual. You just get the um, model and everything of of your actual device. So it's 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 not your manual. I think to get that you have to go on to support at Fleur, Fleur Resources, or support at Fleur Camera, and there's a, it, it doesn't, it's not even a quick start. So it just tells you, well, charging point, and then view from the bottom, Expl uh, explanation, explanations. We've got these figures here, but it don't it just don't say what it is. Don't say what it is at all. And then rest just goes into different countries. Oh you've got some stuff here. Alright, so yeah. View from the front, visual cam oh yeah, here. Visual camera, thermal camera, phone connector, height control for the one connector. On off switch You don't really need this because once it's on it's kind of self-explanatory. Pop these back in here. So it just it just exudes quality. So just inside here as well, where you slip them into, you've got like some black foam padding just inside there. And then where that went, so you've got your flare device. Again, just a little section, just wide enough for your device foam padding so impressed with that um, you've got your device so I'll just pop that there and then inside which again it's like a little tray and you've got this little drawer that lifts up lightning charger and that were a bit neater because obviously I've, char I've charged it up, so that just slips off there. Plugs into your socket and into your device. Goes into here. Right. 
when you're charging it up and it does charge it quick so I'm watching it and it went to it were, it were on 30% and it went straight up to 45% in, in no time I, I, I couldn't believe it, I, it were actually you could see it going up because it was showing it on phone um, and then on that side we've got the wallet so that's kind of put that back in there put, that's kind of it for for that I had to put everything back, everything back as uh, as it came out. So now we've got these two. Nice little You see I don't know whether I think that's for charger, yeah. That's for your charger to fit into. That goes into the air, I think, yeah. Because it's got, it's thingy out. And then these kind of curl up. If you can get them curled up and then fit into the air. A bit of tight squeeze, but I'm sure that's for the air, but unless you put something else in there. And that goes over. Again, just quality, flair. Nice zip on it, good action. Right, I'll just get this out. I can't really show you it on on thingy, but I'll get. I'm going to get other one out now. Like I said, that's stiff. So this what charger for other one, which is different. It does say flare on it on both things, but you can tell that it's a different manufacturer. You can just tell this screams at Apple stuff and this don't and this what problem with this one it, it, I don't know why I don't know why it had this on like a, like as if it's like a lanyard just tempt it just sent to get it way I don't know whether you just wrap it around your wrist or what but this were always an issue so it, it, it fits into here I mean it's branded up nice in fact that fleur brand there is same as what's on there so I don't know why they've not they didn't have it on front at box but this were always issue gain it out it's over time it's come out a bit easier but it were always hard to get that out of there so these are your two devices I mean that that that's your double cameras, but that's kind of got two cameras as well. Whether it's going to be, I don't know why this this weren't as good. You get a QR code on here on this one. You might have to try that. That again, that might be model number. You've got model number on there. Um, so I'll just show you this. So this is what reason why. You couldn't have the uh, um, cover on on your phone. This thing here, that's how big it was, and you he couldn't get any bigger. So you had to take your cover off, put that on, turn it on. The um, battery life on this not very good either. Or forever having to charge it up. Now it might be the same with this, and that took ages to charge up. So I think they've addressed one of the issues. One of the issues is how quick it took to charge. So I'd have to put that on charge over, you know, night before. And if I forgot, it'd be a nightmare. So you put it in your phone, you start taking pictures and it'd just go off because there were no charging it. I'm hoping this is going to be better. But that, you, you twist that and then this goes in and out. So however thick your cover is, this adapter should uh, easily fit it. I think that's I think that's about it for uh, for comparisons. Um, 
warranty. So you've got like a warranty for this one. This will get it on Google Play. So rather than Apple Store, it were on Google Play. Uh, another thing. Thanks for buying, it's a different bloke. Bill. I wonder if Bill's flogged the company. And this says uh, on here, made for iPod, made for iPhone, made for iPad. Mean that electric and electric, uh, and elect let me get these teeth out. Mean that an electric accessory has been designed to connect specifically to iPod, iPhone and iPad. We don't really have iPods anymore, do we? Respectively, and has been certified by the de developer to, to meet Apple performance standards. Apple is not responsible for the operation of this device or its compliance with safety and regularity standards. Please note that the use of this accessory with the iPod, iPhone, iPad may affect wireless performance. So, uh, uh, so that's it. That's the unboxing. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. You've seen what you get in it. And I'll add some Im images on to this video. Edit them on. And you can um, make your own mind up. I'll put the Fleur old one first and the Fleur new one second. And you can compare and contrast. Again, if you want to um, buy one, this has cost me around 570 quid. And one of the things that I saw when I went on Amazon was that for 300 and some quid, 360 or 70 quid, you could get a, a second hand one that's been reconditioned. So I wanted a, a brand spanker for simple reason with issues that I'd have with that, even though I bought that brand brand new. I wanted this to be like sort of top and I didn't want to have any issues with it. So I bought it brand new. But I have had stuff like seconds from Apple and from Fleur and it's 100 quid cheaper. So if you want to get something a bit cheaper, look on, on their seconds. It, it does come up when you when you click this on to, um, to look at it on Amazon. So uh, you can get them for 360 quid, which is good value for money. So if you're a surveyor and you're wanting to uh, get one of these for your phone, just to make your reports a bit better, or you just want to you know, go around your house. Because they, they do things with um, cars and stuff like that. So you can you can find faults on cars. You can find burst pipes in your house. They, and they've got videos as well that um, show you how to do this and explain everything. A lot of e explanational things on with, with Fleur, as I found last time, are on their website and they, they kind of show you what, what to look for. So, um, I'll let you know how to go on with it when I'm uh, when I'm doing surveys because I've got a survey tomorrow, and it's a couple that's have had a uh, an issue with a boiler that broke in their house years and years ago, about three years ago, and the um, they were on holiday and it flooded and flooded and flooded and flooded. The insurance company came and it's a it, it's a modern building, so it was built in around about two thousand, and the bottom flat and water piled in and then ever since after insurance company had finished insurance company stripped everything out they got dryers in and everything um, about six months after it went into winter and they still got problems with that with, with mold and damp in the bedroom uh, they got me out to come and have a look and I said it looks to me or it feels to me when I did a bit of a report that drying company didn't do the job properly. There's still water under the slab, um, and we asked for drying certificates, things like that. Didn't have them. Suddenly gone missing. Um, they came out. They won't admit that they, they were wrong, insurance company. But they came out, redid it again, stripped them out, and, and took them, put them in an hotel, and redid work, did summer, 
this winter happened again, mould. So the vet insurance guy, he's had a look at it and said, there's nothing wrong with it. So uh, tomorrow I'm going out to have a look and uh, do a report for him and just try and find out what's happening. So um, that's going to be an issue now. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, subscribe on videos somewhere, somewhere around. Um, watch a few other videos and um, buy one of them if you want to get one. These other ones on market, have a look. But um, Fleur, I think Fleur's up there has, has been worth toppings. That's Damp Sam signing off. Have a brilliant rest of your week. Bye bye.